Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks Beginner Part 2. I've started a new series on beginners. I've had many, many people always ask me one time, you know, what'd be a good video to start? I've never really done this to this extent. And so I've already done part one, how to set up your page. I've got F8 real big because inadvertently you're going to make a mistake and you're going to mess up something doing some of the stuff I'm going to do in later videos. You can't really mess it up what we've done so far, but if you mess something up and you lose something, you can always turn off your, turn off, uh, close Corel down, keep, your finger on the F8 key while you start it up. It's going to come up with a screen that said, you want to set it back to default. You know, I've had people lose their color palette. I've had people use their, lose tools and stuff like that. Very easily when you start playing around, and I still mess up today, you know, playing around too much. So this is part two. It's going to be talking about the menu bar, the status bar, the standard toolbar, the property bar, the toolbox, and then one of the things you can make mistakes at is adding or taking away tools. So I I can't really have an arrow, but I've got a picture of a picture of a picture. This is your menu bar. File, edit, view, layout, object, effects, bitmap, text, table, tools, windows, help. And help is a big thing especially when you're new, you can go to help and ask a question. You know, if you want to type in a uh, particular weld, you can type in weld and it's weld and intersect object, you know, glossary on weld. It's a really good way to learn uh, Corel Draw. That's done inside of Corel. The next is your standard toolbar, which is all these tools up here, which are basically you're like your undo tool, how to turn your, uh, well, I can actually do it up here. Uh, show your rulers, take your, you know, you could turn your rulers off, turn your rulers back on. You could have an indexing line. You could have it, take it away. The indexing line is still there, but you can hide it. You know, snap to there or right there. Uh, this is launch if you want to launch Corel Paint and a couple other things. Property bar is what you have selected. Like right now, there's nothing selected. Much like right now, I have nothing selected. So this is my property bar. If I pick a text, I get my text property bar. It's not bringing it up because it's this is all grouped together. But if you type text, there's your text. You know, in the property bar has a mirror vertically, mirror horizontally. You can rotate stuff. You can, uh, it'll tell you what size. So let's make a rectangle. There's my rectangle side. If I want to rotate it 22 and a half degrees, I rotate it. If I, here's a, a good thing to watch. Let's draw a rectangle back. If you wanted this, well, I'll tell you what. Let's draw it. Holding down the control button, I'm going to draw a square. I want it to be four by four inches. Well, let's make it one inch by one inch. Here's a big deal, lock ratio. If you don't have that locked, you have to type in both numbers. So we're going to put in one and put one in for both sides. If you don't have it locked, you can change it to like to two. So now you got a two inch tall by one inch square. So that's your property bar. The next is your, well, I, I I skipped over the status bar, but that's fine. Your status bar is this lower bar. It gives you a status on what you're working on. Like if you, right here, if we draw a you know, rectangle, it tells me, rectangle layer one, it tells me that it has no fill. It tells me the outside is a red hairline. There's a lot more in that than just meets the eye. Uh, you know what I mean? And it actually gives you some hints. Then the rest is the toolbox, your pick tool. Well, let's just go over here. Your pick tool, your shape tool, your crop tool. All these are your flyouts. They're in the normal order. Like you could use your 
virtual segment delete key, and now it says virtual segment delete key, but that's not the true flyout. The flyout is the true crop tool. The magnifying glass, which is your zoom, your writing tool, your artistic media, your rectangle tool, your ellipse tool, your polygon tool, that has a lot of other tools inside of it. Your text tool, your parallel dimension tool, your connector tool, and I'm fixing to talk about that. I think in 14 years, I've never used that, but like twice. It's taking up space. So the last thing in this series, or in this one, is add or take away tools. Right here on this plus symbol, I don't ever use the, um, can't even remember, the connector tool. All you have to do and watch it disappear over here. When I click the uncheck mark, it took it away. And then just say, just click off of it. That's in the way if you're new to Corel and you're not going to use it, but you can always get it back. And you can, you know, you can really customize, you know, stuff. People have inadvertently, uh, like I could put it back, and there it is. And the reason, you know, so what people go, well, it's not cluttered. Well, later on when you make your, you know, your tools bigger maybe, you know, you can right click here and customize and you know, make your buttons bigger. Well, now some of my items are off the page. So I have to look at them over here. Well, if I have this one deleted, I've got more, you know, I, I, I would like to have it like this, but I can't stand not having uh, tools visible. So we could go right here and take away uh, the connector tool. Um, you know, things you might not use at first, like you don't really need the outline tool. Now you've got all, all your tools on this page and they're large. And when I say you don't need your outline tool, so I'm going to right click again, customize default button small, because that's the way I like it. The reason you don't need the pen tool over there, I very seldom ever use it. You've got the pen tool here and you can always hit F12 on your keyboard and you've got all that information, your size and whatever. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. and Thank you for watching.